So let's see if this thing will start. Today on Cedar Valley Outdoors, we're checking out this vintage 1970s Home Light XL12. I thought that you might find it interesting. It's a cool saw. Uh, it has some wear, obviously, but it's in pretty decent shape overall. I mean, you can even still see the home light on the bar. Um, it does have a little bit of paint wear on the clutch cover, but, uh, but overall the saw is in pretty doggone good shape. Now this particular model, you know, I'm not certain on the exact year that it was produced. I did take a look and find some interesting information uh, from the Chainsaw Collector's Corner. And so if we reference the old World Wide Web here, uh, I found on here that it says that the Home Light saw, the XL12 series, was produced between 1964 and 1988. The engine displacement is 3.3 cubic inches. The construction is die cast magnesium, and the weight is 12 pounds, 12 ounces. So this actually was marketed as a lightweight, one of the first lightweight chainsaws. And compared to other saws in that era, it, it, I think it must have fared pretty well. Um, I'm not exactly sure the year that this particular saw was produced. Some of you guys or gals that know how to look that up, maybe you can help me and, and put in the comments what year you believe that it was made. I will share with you the serial number in case you can look that up. The serial number is 3228-1297. So if that, if that helps you, I think that'd be very interesting for me and maybe some other people on the channel to, to understand what year it was, uh, it was made. Now we're gonna take it out and see how she does when we put it in some wood. I do believe if it pulls the chain, it's gonna cut. The cutters are in good shape. They look to be properly filed. And uh, overall, it should be fun to run. Now this one is um, the model that has the manual oiling. So you can see here that it has a manual oil or not the automatic oiling. I do know they made some of this uh, type of saw that had automatic oilers, but um, yes, this is pretty cool. We're gonna go check it out and, and see if she'll cut. I believe she will. Um, so let's go put it in some wood. Come along with us. Let's see how it does. Thank you. We have a fallen white oak here. We thought this would be a good tree to use to test out the old XL12. So let's fire it up and let's see if she'll cut.
Well, that was fun. Uh, the old 
home light XL12 cut through that white oak pretty well. Um, I did notice the depth gauges are a little bit aggressive. You probably saw that, that it had a little bit of bite a few times. But uh, overall, the saw ran pretty doggone well. That was fun. The uh, Hope you guys enjoyed that. And, you know, I've gotten some comments from you guys that you enjoy seeing some of the older vintage tools and uh, some of those things. So I'll continue to mix some of that in with the channel. And uh, hopefully somebody that's watched this will be able to look at that serial number. And I'll tell the serial number again. That was 3228127. Hopefully somebody can look that up and let me know what year uh, this saw was made. But uh, thanks for tuning in and hope you had fun. See you next time on Cedar Valley Outdoors. Ha <laughs> ha